YouTube, what is going on? Welcome back to the channel. Today, I've got a video from the guys at Ironheart, and this is an absolute sleeper in my books. It's a nine ounce raised whip cord Western shirt in olive drab. So let's get right into it. Now, when I say sleeper, I personally, I, I think this is a sleeper in terms of not many people talking about it and there's probably not enough coverage of it and I don't know why. Now, it's raised whipcord, which I've never really had before in itself, but this has apparently been aggressively brushed on the outside. Now, you can see it in the pictures online and here, it almost looks like velvet and no joke, it almost feels like it. It is so soft, but uh, you know, I say soft in a lot of videos and a lot of flannels that are double brushed, etc. This is different. This is like a, a silky soft. Uh, so it, 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 it makes the nine ounces almost feel like it's something like 12. So if you're thinking nine ounces, wow, that's too thin, which sometimes I do. I see a nine ounce shirt or a six ounce shirt and I'll say, that ain't for me, I like the, the thicker, heavy stuff. This is, it kind of bridges that gap. It d definitely feels like 12, but it's it is nine ounces. I wore, wore this yesterday all day and because it's only nine ounces, it's something that I wore underneath a jacket and I didn't really notice I wore it. So it's very comfortable. It's a very comfortable shirt and it's a feat of engineering how it's aggressively brushed like this on the outside. And on the inside, it's just your regular raised whip cord, which is a bit more coarse. So it's cool. You've got your tonal stitching in terms of orange stitching that goes throughout as well. And it's a Western. This cut has just grown on me so much last year and I'm sure I'm gonna be getting a lot more in the coming year. Uh, the Western cut is just really nice when you get a nice size. And the thing about it for me is, you know I've spoken about sleeve lengths on different types of flannels, uh, especially the Ironheart ones, which for me tend to be a bit, little bit long. With this shirt, they are perfect. I am not joking you. So if you're looking for an Ironheart shirt that uh, is a bit more in proportion in terms of, well for me anyway, uh, this is this is a shirt. Now, I'm not just talking this up as well. And you know, it's a, it's a great shirt. It's, you know, it's, it's not the best shirt I, I've ever had, but uh, this is a sample and you know, I, I have to send this back. I don't get to keep these at all. So I don't, I don't get these for free. I'm able to buy some of these things. So I am considering buying this and I'll probably buy this uh, in the next uh, cycle when I pick something up. That's how much it surprised me. And they sent me this with a ultra heavy flannel. Uh, and this is surprisingly the one, the one that I've worn, the ultra heavy flannel I've just uh, I put over there. I'm gonna do a video on it later, but um, yeah, strange, strange like that. So before we get into it, I wanna talk about Project 10,000. We're just over 7,000 subscribers at the minute. I'm trying to get to 10,000 by the end of this year. Hopefully you can help me do that. If you enjoy some of these videos, you've seen one or two, just hit the red subscribe button. It'll really help me out. It helps me get samples like this that I bring to the channel and show you guys uh, and help you make an informed purchase. So hit the red subscribe button. Let's get to 10,000. Now in terms of sizing, I always get asked, I'm about 80 kilos and that's about 176 pounds. I'm around six foot, which is around 180 centimeters, I think. And this is a large, this is a large in Ironheart. I'm always usually a large in Ironheart. And as I said, perfect, perfect, absolutely perfect everywhere. The way it drapes as well is great. It just, with a white t-shirt, with a white t-shirt, it looks great. Uh, can't go wrong. So absolutely love it. Uh, it's got all the same kind of features that you would get from all of the other Ironheart uh, garments. Super strong construction. Got the red or the orange uh, bobbin thread throughout. Permex snaps as well that can be pimped out, so on and so forth. It's one wash, so there's gonna be minimal to no shrinkage at all. Take that into consideration when you're choosing your size as well. Oh yeah, it's sulfur dyed. So I mentioned, I think I mentioned in the beginning, sulfur dyed, so it will resist fading, but it will fade over time. So if you absolutely love this color and you don't want this color to fade, <clears throat> maybe not for you, it will show age eventually, like everything else does anyway. Uh, so it will fade and uh, adapt to the way you wear it. So that's it. One big question I see people asking online is how does this compare to regular 
Ironheart shirts in terms of how it feels. Now, for instance, the Johnny Cash shirt or some of the Ironheart heavy flannels, etc. when you get them straight out of the box, a little bit heavy. Uh, the, the Military Surge Western, for instance, I have that. That is, that is a stiff shirt, very heavy, very, you know, still after many months of wearing, it's still a solid shirt. Some people may find that uncomfortable. They will get better as they go on. But how does this compare? Now, this is totally different. Totally different. This is almost like it's being worn for months and months by someone else and it's super soft. And that is down to the fabric, that is down to the aggressive brushing. So if you're looking for a shirt that just sits well straight out of the box, I hate to say it, but this may be the shirt, one I would never have thought about. So yeah, really, really pleased with this. And as I said, I'm probably potentially maybe gonna buy this. Color-wise, it comes in a black as well. So there's an olive drab, which is this one, and also a black one if you prefer that. It retails for around 269 pounds. So uh, do the conversion. It's uh, still up there with a normal Ironheart shirting price, but you know, you get everything uh, that you pay for and these are built to last, so you won't be disappointed. With all that being said, guys, that is that is it. I really do hope you enjoyed that. If you did, give me a comment down below. Give me a thumbs up. Like I said in the beginning, hit the subscribe button, really helps me out. Project 10,000, trying to get there. 7,000 now, we're gonna aim for 10,000 this year. Hopefully you can help me with that. And with all that being said, have a great day and we'll see you in the next one.